Hey, good morning guys. A um, little devotion I want to share with you this morning quickly. In 2 Kings chapter 4, the Shunammite woman is before the man of God, the servant, and, and she say, he says, what must we do for you? What can we do for you? The prophet Elisha. And she says, no, nothing. And anyway, he goes back and Elisha says, go tell her she's going to have a child next time I come around. And so the, the servant tells her, um, you're going to be with child next year this time. And she says, no way. Don't get my hopes up. And that's what I want to share with you this morning, you know, in 2 Kings 4. It says, don't get your hopes up. I'm outside a lotto store, yeah. And if, you, if I told you you won the lotto, man, you'd get your hopes up. Well, let me tell you, no matter what your situation, no matter what you're facing right now, I want to tell you, get your hopes up. Because God is better than winning the lotto. God can do anything. And if you're facing a financial issue, get your hopes up. God can change it. If you're facing a health issue, get your hopes up. God can change it. You know, I believe... God is in control of everything. And no matter what's happening around you, I want to just encourage you today. Get your hopes up because God is better than all of us. Let me pray with you. Hey, Lord Jesus, I pray this morning you would get our hope up because you are our God. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, guys, be encouraged. You need to get your hope up. Bless you.